the stomach is very mu mu muscular. Usually when there's nothing in, it's quite small. It's about this size. But basically it's got a lot of folds that work like an accordion that basically extends, as you can see here. That's exactly what the white shark aims for the back part of the... That's quite a fresh kill, eh? Mm. White shark usually tend to hunt these animals from the back because they're away from the four flippers. So we dissected this uh, female white shark that was found at Diaz Beach um, dead uh, yesterday morning. Um, today uh, we measured it at 3.2 meters total length. Um, overall, uh, it, it was a very healthy animal, confirmed uh, um, in different ways uh, through the dissection. Um, was found at, at least two signs of uh, um, a capture event by some fishermen um, you, we, where we found uh, basically two hooks inside, uh, one inside the mouth and one all the way through the stomach. There were different type of uh, fishing line used, one most likely from a boat a kayak and another one uh, with a slider from the beach. Um, which is a bit of a concern because it seems that these animals are exposed quite a bit to this kind of uh, fishing events in which the stale trace seems to be quite uh, indicative of the, the guys that were uh, possibly targeting the white shark. But overall the, the seal was very healthy, we didn't find any kind of ulcer, stress ulcer, we didn't find any kind of uh, um, lesion. We found uh, uh, um, uh, uh, the stomach was full, um, recently eaten uh, uh, Cape Fool seal um, of the size of most likely a juvenile Cape Fool seal was cut in three pieces, neat cut, so most likely it was one bite that took out the middle part and then the other part that was eaten. Um, so uh, we found some trace of uh, most what is most likely be um, whale blub, some whale blubber in it. We don't know whether it uh, was the whale that was washed out here about a, a couple of months ago, but we're gonna send it for genetic ID to see what kind of species of um, animal was it. Um, and the rest, it looked, uh, it was an immature female. Um, had some parasites around the gills uh, in, in the mouth, but not a massive amount. Um, the muscle uh, was in very good condition. The liver was very good. Um, again, not major uh, stress there. So, um, unfortunately, it seems to be a very healthy animal that was doing what it was he's supposed to do, which is hunting cave for seal, that maybe encounter the wrong predator at the wrong time in the wrong place. So, you think that it's likely that the cause of death is from being caught by an we, di we didn't find any sign of. Uh, an unhealthy shark or an undernourished shark. Uh, the only really clues for a possible death were the two hooks found, um, the two sets of hooks found uh, inside the shark. So, and because it was found on the beach, at, at, right there, uh, close to Seal Island, uh, there is a strong indication, possibility, 
that um, the cause of death was related to a fishing event. With that, we don't want to um, demonize all the fishermen, uh, absolutely not. But it might be that there's some someone. There might be someone targeting white shark, which is a bit of a worry. Um, the last court case, where a few years ago, the, ju the judge ruled that if you're fishing with for other, other any other species of shark, but if you're fishing in an area where there is a high chance of uh, catching a white shark, you should not use that gear there. So um, we urge everyone, even looking for other species of shark array in, in an area where uh, there, there are notoriously white shark, not to fish in that area or not to use that kind of gear. But death hasn't been in vain. You'll be able to send off samples for research purposes. Um, we tried to make the most out of it. There was a lot of people that attended this dissection, that asked a lot of questions, which again is very good to, to make people to appreciate these, these animals, to really remove that fear and transform it in that kind of uh, appreciation, ecstasy for uh, the, looking at these animals. How magnificent, magnificent they are. Um, and on top of that, uh, a lot of samples from vertebra to jaws to fins to muscle to, for genetics analysis, uh, agent growth, population dynamics. Um, uh, health, stress level, um, all these samples will be sent in South Africa and overseas for a lot of different research projects. So we try to make the most out of a tragedy, like a white shark that has been um, is, died, uh, to make, try to make the most from a conservation and research point of view.